So this call I worked back on July 4th of 2022. It's a self-contained that was leaking water. First, I gotta remove the rear cover, which will give me access to the unit's condensate pan, which you should find inside of any self-contained unit in the middle of a sales floor. And we can see this one's full of water. So we need to remove this electric cover and we'll find a little small switch in here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's back there. It's activated by a lever that's pushed up by a float that rests in the pan. When water starts rising in the pan, the float closes the switch, which should turn on your heating element. Since all that stuff is working, we need to get out our meter and check a few things. First thing we're gonna check is voltage, incoming voltage. Here we should be able to measure 120 volts between these two posts. And if we got voltage, then we would wanna measure for current on either of the two wires feeding the element. And so this pan is rated for 6.7 amps at 120 volts. So if you've measured and you have 120 volts on these two posts and you don't have current here, then your element has failed and it's time for a new pan. So with power disconnected, if you measure the resistance between the two posts with the wires removed, you'll read an open circuit or OL, no continuity through your element. And that's that. And now having diagnosed that, let's watch the original video and listen to the original audio that I did on July 4th. All right, well I called my supplier and they don't have one of these in stock at the store near me. There's only one in the whole Houston area and it's like 30 or 45 minutes away. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back today with one or if I'll just come back tomorrow because today's July 4th. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this water out and it'll buy me at least 24 hours, maybe a little longer in case I can't come back today. It won't continue leaking water. So to do that, I've got a cup just a, a bucket of some sort. This is like a little trash can. And I'm gonna scoop out the water and pour it in here until I can get out as much as I can. And that'll buy me some time. All right, so I've scooped out that much water out of there. So that buys me about 24 hours at least, maybe a little longer, I don't know. Depends on how fast this thing strips water. It might take a whole week to go back up. Well, but I'm not gonna let it go that long, but this way I don't have to open up the supply house on July 4th just for the condensate pan and also I can move on to my next job. Okay, so I was able to get a another drain pan. This one is 1,000 watts, but I believe the dimensions for it are pretty close. So, got this one. Uh, it was about $144. Of course, that don't matter. I don't bill on these jobs. Someone else does. But, uh, take it in there and see if it's gonna if it's gonna fit all right i actually forgot to start recording a little bit ago so here i'm in the middle of it changing out this pan so this the old one came out of there obviously this uh was in the way so i had to unscrew that and then flex it over kind of out of the way so i could pull the pan out it's been two days yeah two days and this pan was already full to the top and uh, overflowing, so that just kind of gives you an idea. I had to clean it up right there. Kind of gives you an idea of how much water these things produce in just a couple of short days. And I got lucky too, because this here is exactly, it's gonna fit in there perfectly. And I didn't even measure. How about that? Anyways, so this, the old wire on this one, you can see it goes through here. And then it's nice, it's through there really nice and sealed. It's got like this black caulking on it. And when you look on the other side of the unit at the black caulking, oh my God, and look at that coil. Wow, gonna have to clean that. You see this caulk, it's really, really strong and really nice. So instead of ripping this old cord through there, running the new one through it and trying to re-caulk it, I'm gonna leave this in place. And I'm gonna unwire it from here, pull it out of this pan, and mount the existing wire to feed the new pan. It's actually quite simple. Take the cover off, and not only is what I'm doing here the easier way, and it's, it's just easier, it's neater, it's more professional, it lasts longer. Use the existing wire instead of trying to, instead of messing with their, their caulk they got back there. So, looks like very simple. 
110 volt is really simple. It's gonna feed the left side of that switch. Just like this one does, feeds the left side of the switch and then neutral, neutral. Okay, so let's see, this one has neutral feeding the left side of the switch. And this one has neutral coming to the element. It really doesn't matter. You could do it either way. You could reverse neutral and hot on the two posts that they're on and it'll operate the exact same way. I personally prefer neutral going straight to the element the way it's done here. But that's just me. Alright, so I got you set up up there where you can watch me perfectly. Take this out right there. When you get these loose, you really just need, uh, you know, something big. You gotta squeeze it. It just goes right through like that. Then once it's through, you can take it off like that. Okay. Then you pull off neutral and uh, it looks like this one we're gonna have to we're gonna have to loosen that up it's still easier in my opinion than doing all that other stuff though That's still a good switch, actually. I'll probably keep that. Yep. So I could have actually, if I wanted to, taken the wire nut loose and then just put it on this wire nut, but that's okay. I would have if I would have thought of that at the moment, but I'm already here, so. Sometimes screws can be a pain in the ass. So you gotta be a pain in the ass back to them. wire in it so everything the same is going to be done on here so I'm going to start by loosening this yeah I'm going to actually need a backup for this okay so this works fine just uh, get that on there to hold it in this case, we take that switch back ground. This one should not be a pain in the ass. It's not rusty. And it's not. Oh, 
out the hole and then I have inherited a new wire in case I need that for anything. Alright. And we just take this. Turn it all back through here. Alright, and we take our little thing here. And we want to try to find the same spot. You see how it's kind of bent right there? I want to stick this right in there so that it matches, you know, just like so. It gets that little spot. That way we don't get any other spots on the wire worn out. And we're going to put it this way so that the wire heads towards the back or the front of the unit. And then, gotta squeeze it until it clicks or snaps into place. Alright, then. So, I will put my ground in using the same screw that came off of the, of the new pan. So, everything's gonna be the same except for the wire. Like I said earlier, I like my, I, I prefer neutral to go straight to the post and I like the hot wire to be the one traveling around the circuit. So, put hot under here. Loosen it some more. All right. Then I put it between the little, little brass or copper washer that's there and the uh, screw. I just want to make sure that they're good and tight. You don't want them moving. Okay. Then we're going to set it back in place. But we need our little... You don't have to have this, but whatever. I'll put it in there. Yeah. Run my screw through. There. Start it. Start it off by hand. Yeah, there. Started it with my fingers. And the other one. Other one. Push it through. And it also went through. That started the fingers too. Okay, now they're both started. Let's grab it with the back up and tighten her down. just to be sure you've got to make sure that the float that's in the pan rises and, and, and energizes that switch like that see you've got the float right here that when water hits it it's going to go up and it's going to it's going to trigger the switch just like that so you take the switch off anything like this it has to be back in alignment which those two screws put it there. But it never hurts to just look and double check. Now this pan had this fan mounted on the back side of it with this bracket right here. And the bracket attached to the pan just like so. So I've got to put new holes in this pan and that's gonna be tricky because I don't have a drill right now. So let's see what I can figure out about that. Uh, so yeah, I have absolutely no drill, so this is the best thing I can come up with, and it 
actually holding it reasonably well. I'll get another one on this side. See if I either use like tape, any kind of tape, then if it ever got wet, well then it'll just come loose. So I gotta use something that I know is gonna work. So I took my my pinchers here and I flattened that on both sides before I did this. So now don't get me wrong, I don't like this. I would prefer to have drilled holes in it to be right, but this is the best I can do right now, so you do what you gotta do when you can do it. Okay, so there it sits. The pan is in place. I'll line up those two, get them two screw holes there, there. Try to line those up. My other one. Oh, they don't match up. Ain't that something. All right, got it mounted. Now it's not moving. Our fan's in place, okay. So, start her up. Yeah. So now my fan should be running. It is. Okay. Let's see here. Now, when I check for, I kind of messed up earlier in the video. I noticed when I was editing that I didn't catch the amp draws. I was supposed to catch the amp draws on it. So, put it on, and that's amps AC, 40 amps is what we want to use. And we're going to test it. So, we're going to, we're going to raise the switch and watch what happens. Oh, I gotta go put it in. That would, that would help. Yep. Duh. Right. Now we're gonna go test amps. All right. Look at that, look at that. That's what's up, that's how you do it. And then you finish it up, you just put your cover back on, like I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, date this one. So. back into place, which is those two little screw holes right there. All right, got this mounted, got that wire in place, so everything's good. Let's put this uh, back, big back panel cover back on, and then the front cover panel back on. Alright, so that's all I was able to put together for this video from July 4th of 2022. If you've made it all the way here, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like. I appreciate it. See ya.